What's up? Hey guys, uh, it's a quick tutorial on how to input uh, LUTs into Adobe Premiere or any other program. Like, I downloaded a couple of LUTs in .cube. You can get them everywhere or you buy them, doesn't really matter. So if you have them in .cube, um, you can only input them into the Lumetri thing. It's all in German, sorry for that. But if you go to simple color correction and input LUT, then you can find them there in the dot if with the dot cube file. By doing this, you uh, just copy this file into the if you go to Adobe Lumetri LUT into the technical folder, and if you put it in here, it will be shown in the in input LUT here. But it this will not work for the creative uh, look part for some reason. So what you got to do is you got to copy this one into the creative folder, but it doesn't show up for at first. So what you are doing is you go to the uh, Cinelux folder. It's in the looks folder, Lumetri. It's not a lot a looks Cinelux folder. What you do is you create a copy of just one of these. Doesn't really matter. You just press copy and like paste it. Then what you do is you have to start uh, the editor as a administrator. And you go and open one of like this, this file, what you just saw. Go to Lumetri, looks, Cinelux, you gotta enable that. You open this copy and you see a lot of stuff. So what you do is like after the parameters, you delete everything out here, just gone. So it looks like this. Uh, now you can <clears throat> let it still open. What you're doing, what you're doing now is you open one of your <clears throat> or one of your files, which you just opened here. I just like downloaded this one and I copied it into this folder. And you go copy this one here, like the M31 block thing. And then you rename your file, which you just edited into uh, exactly that name. So you just know which name it is. And what you do here is you cut out this one and put there the name. So what it does, it refers in this file, it refers to that file and then it can show up. So you go save that one now. And yeah, it should be here now. So you got to close Premiere and then reopen it later. What we can see is we can now find the M31 LUT in here. And this is how you can do it with all of the other files. You just have to make a new copy of uh, your copy. You just make another copy, whatever. And from there, you edit, uh, you edit, just edit the name in the file. Just edit this one to that one. You can do it with all of the copies. And this is how you can put the LUTs into the creative uh, look. This is just, uh, very useful because it depends on if you do your color correction before or after applying the LUT. And if you apply it before, uh, then it's like it's better if you apply it before what I would say, or sometimes it's better to do it after then you just uh, apply the LUT here. Like this is here. All right, so I hope I could help you and see you soon.